WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around negative territory on some trade and tariff concerns. S&P negative 31 points, trading at 2758. We get the Dow off 280 points, trading at 24,890. NASDAQ negative by 93 points, trading at 7474. Gold contract catching quite a bit, up $17 at 1309.40. We've got oil to the downside, 54 handle on oil down a buck 73 at 54.85. Notes and bonds, quite a charge. Higher price, lower yield, 10-year up 15 ticks, 126.05. 30-year up a full point and two ticks, 154.04. And the dollar index off 293 ticks at 97.220. We're going to start it off actually with a chart of the 10-year yield because we are at lows for the recent past. And to pull it up on a little bit of a longer-term chart, there's your yield. We're sitting at 2.1592. Backing this up even a little bit further, going back three years, you will see we're coming into where we were in about September of 2017. The next stop, November of 16, talking about the election all the way back, 2.15 on the 10-year. Pretty remarkable. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start it off with the Dow. As you can see, near the session lows that we made just after the opening bell, Dow sitting 24,895 on that June futures contract. NASDAQ 100, 7157. We were lower right after the opening bell, 7138. S&P 500 trading at 2758. We had been as high as 2769 just about an hour and a half ago. There's your crude oil chart, quite a chart indeed. Backing it up two days, there is early Thursday morning. We're trading above 59. Doesn't take long, folks, just more than 24 hours, and you got oil trading at 54.79. As we speak, approaching session lows within a few pennies of those levels. There's your gold contract, session highs as we speak, 13.09.85. Those gold bulls got to like that. And euro US dollar trading 111.60. In terms of what else, just jumping over quickly, there's your VIX, 1851, hit 1972 pre-market, and quite a chart for Gap, but look at that charge back as you got Gap going from 1708, 1857, it had been down 17%, still down about 10% on their earnings last night. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Dave, Steve Rhodes, coming up right now, Tom O'Brien, live at 3. Have a great Friday.